I'm Manuel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing really well. I certainly am. And welcome back to another match preview on the channel. Norwich go away to Derby County. It's a really good opportunity for Norwich to get another three points on the board after a sensational 7-0 win. I'll say that again, 7-0 win. They were seven up against Middlesbrough, a magical win. And it's a brilliant opportunity for Norwich to secure Premier League football. We know Norwich are going to be back in the big time. And if Brentford and, Pres uh, Brentford and Swansea fail to beat Millwall and Preston and Norwich beat Derby, then Norwich will be secured. It will be confirmed that Norwich are going to be back in the Premier League. And 41 games into the season, if, if you said Norwich would secure Premier League football at the start of the season, I would not believe you. Norwich have done brilliantly. Daniel Fark has done brilliantly. And I'm, the last six games, you've just got to enjoy it. You've just got to enjoy it all. And hopefully Norwich can get three points secure Premier League football and take another step closer to winning another championship title, which will be absolutely brilliant. In this video, I'll be previewing the game, talking about Derby, talking about Norwich and going through the predicted decks. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section um, and follow the socials in the description as well. But let's talk about Derby for a little bit. Derby, they're a really weird club and Derby are a team who have had a lot of money that they've been backed by their owners on several occasions that they've spent big money on players have spent eight million on waghorn in the past they've spent big transfer fees but they've never been able to return to the premier league and i'm sure derby fans look at norwich and are very very envious of us because we keep getting to the premier league and derby just can't do it they've, they've fallen at the playoffs on so many occasions and this, this has been one of their worst seasons in several years um Obviously, Wayne Rooney's taken over the helm and in recent weeks and, and kind of went, as Rooney's taken over, Derby haven't done brilliantly. They've improved, but you'd still, I think they've only won one in their last eight. So Derby are a team who have aspirations to get back to the Premier League, have, have got m the money to do so. But the reason why they haven't got to the Premier League is they're probably not running the most sustainable way. Um, and they haven't kind of worked from the ground up like Norwich have. But in this game, Derby... It's going to be an interesting one. I mean, Norwich have got a really weird record against Derby. Of course, Derby beat us 4-3 a few years ago in that crazy floodlight failure game. And they beat us earlier on in the season as well, 1-0. And who scored the winning goal in that game? Derby's manager, Wayne Rooney, scored that lovely free kick. And I remember sitting and watching that game at the start of October. I think Norwich have only won one of the opening five. They were sitting, I think, 17th, 18th in the table. And it kind of mirrored what happened two or three years ago. And you're looking at Norwich with... Wendy and Cantwell supposedly having attitude problems and thinking, you know, Norwich are not in a great position. And now look, six months over uh, where Norwich are. Absolutely sensational turnaround of full credit to all the players. And, and of course, Daniel Farker, who is the best manager Norwich have had in my lifetime, in my opinion. But going back to Derby, top scorer, Kazim Richards with seven goals. Apart from that, a lot of their goal, scoop, goal scorers have had three or two goals. Derby haven't really had found consistency this season. That's been reflected in the results. And they haven't really got a consistent goal scorer or any real consistent threats going forward besides Kazim Richards. So Derby have only won one, one game in their last eight, I think. And it's a really good opportunity for Norwich to, to win and potentially secure Premier League football. But as we know with Derby, they've been a little bit of a bogey team. Um, so it could be it could be a really interesting one. But as, as long as Wayne Rooney, the, the manager of Derby, doesn't run onto the pitch and start doing free kicks, and I think Norwich City it could be OK. And they might be able to score a few more goals. Maybe not seven, but they might be able to score goals. But looking at Norwich, I mean, I've already spoken about them in this video. Six months ago, when we played Derby, we, we did not look in a good position. But now we are completely turned it around. We're better than what we were two, three years ago. We're playing the best football in my lifetime. We look so, so good defensively. And with Buendia and Cantwell and, and Puki and just so much energy and hunger to win the ball, we look brilliant. Pressing in the right areas, um, the movement's all in the right areas. We just look at an absolutely brilliant team. And that, that game, that 7-0 win was just beautiful to watch. That was, in terms of a first half display, that's probably the best performance I've seen in, in, in terms of a first half display. That first half was magnificent. Huddersfield couldn't get near us. The one-touch football, the movement in behind, the energy was just magical. And, and the goals we scored were exceptional. The, the Buendia ball over the top for Puki second. Buendia's goal for the third. Um, the, the fifth goal, the, the one-twos with Buendia in doubt. It was just absolutely magical. And it's not by luck Daniel Farker and Stuart Weber have cultivated a culture for many years. And this is why we're, where we are. And... We haven't really thrashed the team. We haven't really had a big thrashing. So I do feel for Huddersfield, but we were in the right groove. Buendia, Cantwell, Puki, all the players were up for it in that Huddersfield game. And everything clicked. We were clinical. We were ruthless. Um, 
Huddersfield couldn't get near us and it was an absolutely brilliant result. So going into this game, I mean, six games to go now and Norwich are on 87 points. So if they get 13 points out of 18 available points, then they will break that 100 point record, which will be absolutely magical. Um, and, and they could easily do it. And the most important thing is Norwich City secure promotion to the Premier League, which they all look, which although it's not mathematically done, they are going to do. Um, and obviously win the title as well. Eight points clear of Watford with six games to go. As long as Norwich City don't stumble, uh, they should be OK. But looking at Norwich, I mean, we don't look like losing a game at the moment. We've been that good of a side. Um, I think we've only lost one game maybe in, in, in 2021, which just shows how good we've been. In terms of a predicted exile, this is the team I would like to see us play against Derby. And there's no surprises in terms of the team. Tim Krull, 17 clean sheets. He's been one of the best goalkeepers, if not the best goalkeeper in the championship this season. And if he gets three more clean sheets out of the next six, that'll be a club record for Norwich in terms of the amount of clean sheets. A back four of Janulis, uh, Andrew Omobami Deli. Uh, Grant Hanley and Max Aarons. Important to keep saying Aarons. I'm, I'm still going to always call him Max Aarons, I'm sure. But that back line has been brilliant. As we said, 17 clean sheets this season. They've been excellent. And Grant Hanley has been a, a real leader at the back. So that, that back line is, is looking really good. And I was really surprised to see Max Aarons. Um, a statistic about Max Aarons. It was his first assist against um, of the whole season against Huddersfield. Of course, that lovely cross for Jordan Hugel's. Uh, goal and which was the seventh goal in the game really surprised to see Max Aarons have only got only got one assist I think in the, the season uh, two or three years ago or two years ago he, he we got I think two goals and seven assists so surprised by that because he's created a lot of chances um, and let's hope he can get a couple more assists from now to the end of the season Kenny McLean and Oliver, Oliver Skip they've been brilliant Kenny McLean's just been a completely whole new player in the last few months he's He's been absolutely brilliant. The energy, his passing, just everything about Kenny McLean has been absolutely fantastic. And he's been nominated for Player of the Month in the whole championship, which shows his quality. A bit concerned Emi Buendia and Timu Pukki weren't, but um, th there you go. But Kenny McLean has been fantastic and um, really been one of those underrated players for Norwich. And that combination with Skip has been sensational. That front three, we all know who it is. Cantwell, Dow, Buendia. Kieran Dow, nice to see him get a goal. Um, in that 7-0 spanking of Huddersfield. The, the biggest championship win um, is 8-0. It's when Wigan uh, won 8-0 a couple of seasons ago and Kieran Dow scored a hat-trick in that game. So he's used to championship thumpings and yeah, really good display from Dow. Superman's coming on in his place and he's getting quite a lot of substitution appearances. Rancic can't get on the pitch now. Maybe Mario Rancic's time is coming to the end. But Kieran Dow from now to the end of the season, I would like to see him start every game. He's, he's really impressing me and looks a good player. Cantwell... He's been brilliant um, in, the, in the last few months. R lots of creativity. And now that he's kind of been a settled first-team starter, he's really enjoying his football. And Emi Buendia, need we say more about him? He's the top scorer in terms of midfielders in the championship. He's created the most chances in the league. He's created the most assists. Emi Buendia, stay at Norwich. That's all I'm going to say. And if we manage to keep him in the Premier League, that will be another amazing feat because Emi Buendia is, is a, is a world-class player. Um, he's, he's absolutely fantastic. And... Um, I would not be surprised if he goes to a top four Premier League club or, or a top four club anyway. He's that good. Up front, Team Mipuki. He's chasing Ivan Tony. 25 goals for Team Mipuki. Ivan Tony's on 28. Puki's record was 29. He, he, he had that magical season where he got 29 championship goals, which won him player of the season, the golden boot. He's only four goals away. He can easily reach that. He needs four goals in the next six games. He got a hat-trick last game. He can easily reach that. And Puki, some would argue, is probably not even in our top three players this season, which just shows the amount of quality we've had this season in all areas. It's been magical. Um, but yeah, if Puki can re uh, chase Ivan Tony down and reach him, that'll be some feat for him. That's a predicted exercise. Score prediction, Derby nil, Norwich 7. No, I'm only joking. But I do think Norwich will get a 3-0 win over Derby. Um, and are they going to secure promotion in this game against Saturday? I mean, Brentford are playing Preston. They're not in great form, Brentford. Swansea are in terrible form. They're playing Millwall away. I think Norwich City are going to mathematically secure Premier League football in this game. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Subscribe to Norwich City Central if you're new. Come on, Norwich. We'll be hoping they get another big three points and are closer to a championship title. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.